this is Reese, and you're watching The Lead TV. Today, we are going to be showcasing a rare seven-bedroom house here in the posh village of McKinney West in Taguig City. McKinney West is located southwest of BGC. It is about 15 minutes away via foot. McKinney West is known for its semi-urban lifestyle. It is minutes away from high-end shopping places and business centers but still has the relaxing scenery like that of the far provinces. And that is exactly the feels inside this house we will be showing today. But before anything else, please do subscribe on our YouTube channel, The Lead TV, and click that bell button for more property updates. So we're here right now at the carport of this beautiful house and as you can see, it can fit six cars, so two, three, and four, and two here at the driveway. And you would notice there is a backyard gate over there which leads you to the dirty kitchen and another door over there which leads you to the dining area. Wow, this door is truly beautiful. And as you can see, it's very crafty and interesting. The patterns are really nice. Plus, the wood is very strong. I love this door. So, come on, let's go inside. Wow. Lanai right here. Wow! This is so perfect. If you're the type of person who enjoys the outdoor, the bus a morning you can have your breakfast here or afternoon tea. Now at the same time, you're not overexposed because you have plants right here. So hindi ka nakita dun sa road, the bus. So ang ganda niya, I like this portion. And look, oh, meron siyang screen protector, de ba? Yeah. If you want to feel the air outside, the morning breeze, the bad, that's very perfect. And this would be your living area. And I so like the idea that you have a full glass sliding door on your living area and it gives you a peek of what's on the outside. But at the same time, if you want to have some privacy, then you can simply put blackout curtains and your living area over here have high ceiling so it gives you that illusion that you have a large space so ang ganda niya hindi siya congested and right over here would be your own pocket garden wow this garden area right here is extending from your living area to your kitchen I so love this kitchen. It's an island type of kitchen. So, ang ganda niya, ang large ng countertop here wherein you can convert this or actually you can use this as a breakfast nook. So, maybe two or three chairs can fit in here. If you're coming from the groceries and then you have lots of uh, vegetables or fruits to wash, then you can use this sink right here. And at the same time, you can put your uh, grocery stuff over here because it's large ng, ng countertop. Niya. So, ang ganda. I love this. And it's so nice because you already have your burner, your range hood, and your own oven. Plus the fact that you have lots of compartments, right? and it's self-enclosing. As in, it's very, very functional. You have uh, hanging cabinets, you have your drawers. And you have 
have a pantry storage right here and a two-door fridge can fit in here. So this door will lead you to the service kitchen part. So, ito yung busy kitchen. Dito, usually, talagang todo luto, diba? Hugas, and then, again, lots of um, drawers, cabinets. Sorry. <laughs> and um, another pantry storage at the back of this door. And dito naman, it's locked. So, this is the maid's room. But earlier, we had seen this part. So, if you have like four to five helpers, then cash naman dito. And then, you, your helper has her or his own toilet and bath right here. And now, we're going outside. Yeah, and so this would be your utility area. So you have provision for a washer, dryer right here, and you have dirty kitchen part. And this would be your backyard. Earlier, I've, I've mentioned that this uh, gate will lead you to the back door. So ito na yung gate na to. And that would be your carport. Pasok ulit tayo dito. Yeah, so this door coming from the carport will lead you to the dining area. And oh wow, look. You can use this space to set up your own bar, diba? Can you imagine you have your own bar table right here or bar nook? And then you can put your glass, wine glass right here, display cabinet. Then you have this compartment right here. And then you can put up your own bar table right here. And you're probably wondering what this door is for. Well, this one is a storage area. But that can be converted to your very own elevator. Diba? Nice! But if you don't want to use an elevator, then simply make that or make use of that for more storage. Then let's now go to the second floor. Oh, but before that, Let's see this powder room first. Yeah. Nice. You know, it's so nice because I don't know, but I'm into natural stones. Ganda niya kasi tignan. And if you would remember, guys, on our last episode in Verdana, we've shot a house with the almost same kind of uh, stone or tiles in the bathroom. And it's very very nice, ang elegant ng dating, and ang cozy sa loob ng bathroom, de ba? So, ang ganda niya. And plus, you have your window right here, so you can use that as a natural light, or you can open that if you want natural air. Now, let's go naman sa second floor. And, wow, grabe. Par dito sa part na to, parang medyo lumamig, because ang ganda, meron siyang mini window, my view ng outside ng carport area. You have your screen protector here or screen window. So, na-feel mo yung hangin pumapasok talaga sa loob. Because in this house, I think the most most air is coming from that side. I think this side is coming from the west part. Yeah, and at the same time, you have a natural light. Look, you have a stair lights over here and i love that it's a uh, glass okay so now let's go to the first bedroom nice so as you would notice since this is on the corner part of the house they maximize every corner, so they put window right here, and then a huge window over here. And look at the view. I just love the view at the back of this house. And a little trivia. This one is a perimeter area, or perimeter house, but you can see that it's not really at the end of the wall. May space pa siya. So may easement pa. Full of trees and greenery. So ang ganda niya. Ang ganda nung vibe dito sa house na to. And you have your very own bathroom right here. Okay, 
Okay, um, this one pala, it's still the provision for elevator which I earlier showed you at the bar area. So, I just want you to see what's on the inside so you can visualize kung ilang tao yung kasha in ever that you will set up your own elevator here. So, here, um, it can fit like Siguro without the structure pa, well, I mean, including the structure, it can fit here like 6 to 8 persons or 9 at the most, but I think mas ano yung 5 to 6. And then you also can convert this to a storage, additional storage area if you're not using that as an elevator. And another shelves where you can put your uh, collections or simply make this as a display cabinet and now let's go to this room so nice i love the setup i love the mood and the vibe of this room plus you can see you have wood uh, drop ceiling right here and you have spotlight mood lighting and another view over here what i like about this room is meron siyang not so hidden closet kasi bumabagay siya dun sa paint white siya so parang it's a continuous wall but this is a closet so yeah you can put your stuff here so yeah ganda niya Diba? Hindi siya kain sa space kasi diba, imagine if this is gonna be your room. Sayang din yung space if you would set up another cabinet here. So ito, na-maximize niya yung space sa loob. And the idea that this is a square type room, well, that gives you more space. You can maximize the space talaga. And right here, you can see that it is glass window and you can see what's on the ground floor and on the other side of the bedroom over there but you know if you want to use this as a family room you can keep this open para at least you can see what's on the ground floor but if you want to make this or maximize this space as your second bedroom then you can simply put curtain or blinds right over here para may privacy pa rin. Diba? But, syempre, ako, you would ask me, if you don't have that big of a family, then you can simply convert this room to set up your own home office or probably family room naman. Walking this hallway, you can see that this is another area where you can check what's going on the ground floor you can see dining area the living area and very relaxing yung pocket garden right there ganda right here this is your master's bedroom I love this. I love this room. It's not square. It's rectangular in shape, but it's huge. You know, when you walk inside, you have that feeling that, oh, well, this is the master's bedroom. And you have double view here because this is a corner or this is on the corner part of this house. So you have this uh, window right here and right here and right there. And dami ang ganda. So, Alam mo yun, um, pwede mo siyang i-open para may natural air ka. And then, morning sun view din pala to. When you wake up, and then, yung morning sun greets you, ang ganda. Diba? And it's a lucky pong sui as well. So, aside from that huge windows, you also have floor-to-ceiling glass window right here. So, additional lighting din siya. I would like to highlight that this room is huge. 
And same with the other room, uh, yung fa- that you can convert to a family room or entertainment area. Well, this one, same din siya. You can see what's on the ground floor from here, from your room, because it's a full glass window. But again, ako, syempre, if you're, I'm gonna use this as my master's bedroom, then I could just, you know, cover it with blinds or curtain but if you want to open it maintain it open then you're free to do so may view ka kung ano yun nasa baba but for privacy purposes syempre ako preferably i want to set up a curtain or blinds dyan sa part na yan and right here is your very own ensuite bathroom Aside sa minatch niya yung size ng actual bedroom, well, ang may mga enclosed part pa siya dito sa toilet and then the, sa shower. So, yung mga spill, di ba, hindi kumalat sa floor. And you have your his and hers um, sink right over here. And then um, drawers. Yan, lots of drawers and compartments, di ba? And then I like that they put backlighting right at the back of this mirror and wow lots of cabinets for your shoes for your clothes and your own dresser right here the bike can put all your um, perfumes lotion and then other accessories right here and actually this space in the middle you can still set up a center table where you, you can put your jewelries or accessories or put ottoman right here in big ottoman but while you're dressing up the bike can rest and this one another closet right there so we can put a lot of stuff okay and this one Wow, this is so cool because you have two um, same or mirror image of this one. You have this and then the other side. So this is a walk-in closet. And this one is a mirror image of the other walk-in closet. But this one is uh, much smaller lang. So yan. Closet and drawers. Yeah, and, and ang ganda guys. I really love this space. Um, talagang nagmatch sila nung space ng master's bedroom. And this one, well, you have lots of drawers, lots of closet. Ika mauubusan. If you're a heavy wardrobe type of person, then this one's for you. Now, we are going to the topmost floor. Okay now, so right here is your fourth bedroom and lots of windows. And this would be your bathroom right here. And again, the connecting provision for elevator right here. You know, it's very practical. If you're not gonna use this as an elevator, then ang dami mong room for storage. And another right here. Okay, we're on to the fifth room. And again, wow, it's very relaxing here. Ang ganda niya, guys. Ang huge ng window and the feeling that you are not in a box, but you know, yung feeling mo na you have sceneries outside. Ang ganda niya. And hindi siya tinipid sa window. Diba? You also have another window here. And again, it's square cut. And your very own toilet and bath. I like to show you this part 
Diba? It's so nice. If you're into collecting or reading books, then this part of this house is for you. So nice. Diba? You have your very own library. You can set up your couch here. So uh, you can have your game room or recreational spot over here. Or simply put like couches. If you want to read books, then just grab a book. I love it. Nice. So if you're an artist or you're into arts, you can make use of the space earlier and this extended space right here to you know paint or simply get some ideas and have that thoughts running for your next art art material diba so ang ganda ng space dito very very relaxing so let's now go on to the second to the last room and so nice so you have window right here aside from that huge sliding door going to the veranda and you also have your own screen protector right here so if you want to protect yourself from insects while your window is open or simply you can also use that for partly shade or blinds and Again, you have your own bathroom right here. So it's square cut again. The space is being maximized. And now, this is your last bedroom. And it's very nice. bedroom they have the same size cut and style by building a seven bedroom house on a 280 plus square meter lot area Guys, we've reached the end part of this property tour, and I am just so amazed discovering this rare seven bedroom house sitting on a 283 square meter lot area here in McKinley West again. And again, guys, if you wish to see this property, call us on the numbers below. Again, this has been Reese, and see you guys on our next episode.